Hi stampers, this is Holly from rubberredneck.typepad.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to make this fun and cute little 4th of July party favor. Now the supplies that are used to create this came in this month's paper pumpkin kit called Pinwheel Party. Paper pumpkin is a fun kit that is 10 minutes of creativity that is sent to your door every month. If you would like to sign up for the Paper Pumpkin Kit, please visit my blog, rubberredneck.typepad.com. Now this month's kit made these fun, cute little pinwheels, or it also made toppers for the cellophane bags that came in the kits. I changed mine around a little bit and created a, a bag, just filled the bag with some Hershey Kisses and then created this topper that went right onto the cellophane bag instead. And then I also, another fun twist to it was I cut one of the straws apart that came in the kit for the wand. I cut this apart to use it for a decoration on the bag. And I'm gonna show you how to do all these fun things. Now to start out with, what you wanna do is cut your straw apart. So you have your straw and you want to use a pair of scissors that you use for paper. Now, um, I recommend going at this really slow and it is a little time consuming and you want to just work around the straw, just put your first cut there and there is like a crease line that goes around the straw and that is what I followed around the straw as I cut it apart. So you're just going to gently keep cutting apart around that straw. See, it'll, you're start, starting to get it to, un, to cut apart. And you're just gonna keep working your way around. And one thing I did as I started cutting it, I started to unroll it too, to make it a little easier when cutting. And you wanna, like I said, be careful as you're cutting. Don't press too hard because you don't wanna rip the straw so that it tears. You wanna cut it apart. And you're, you're going to keep cutting. This is just another fun way to use the straws for decoration. And you can easily use these straws once they're cut apart too on card fronts if you would like and use it like ribbon. The paper pumpkin kits are so much fun to get them in the mail every month. They are a complete surprise, so you never know what you're getting. And they have a lot of really cute things about them. Stampin' Up! has stepped them up some a little bit. And then once you have your straw cut apart, this is what it'll look like. So then you're gonna unroll the straw the rest of the way. Now, I don't know if you can notice in the, in the video here, you can see how the edges are a little rough. Well, I still wanted the edges to look smooth, so what I did, once I got it unrolled, then I took my scissors and went along on the inside and I just trimmed like a quarter of an inch off. And you can go along on the outside if you want, so that if you want to make sure you get it straight with the red, the real red pattern on there, you can as well. Just line it up right along the edge there and cut. The straws are kind of like a paper styrofoam, so they work really well for cutting them apart. You're just gonna trim that off. Now 
I'm going to set that aside because you're going to use that on that project. Just to add a little more fun to that little gift bag. And you're going to trim the other side so you have a nice smooth edge. Now you have that nice smooth edge for the, the red one. And then what you want to do is like gently twist it again so it twists back up. How cute. And then the other pieces, you're going to set them aside. So you're going to use that cellophane bag that comes in the kit. You're going to fill it with some sort of treat. You can put cookies in here. Um, any type of candy, fruit snacks, pretty much anything you want. You can put little firecrackers in there too if you want. I had some Hershey Kisses that were wrapped in red and silver. So I thought those would be perfect for the 4th of July. And then I just folded over the top so, so it kind of lined up a little bit in the center. And then I just took a piece of scotch tape to hold it together. Because if you're going to give these to kids, they're going to rip right into them. So just seal them with some scotch tape to make it a lot easier for them to open them. And then you're going to take one of the pinwheels papers that came in the kit. And I picked out the blue spotted one with the gray stripes. And then you're going to take one of the tags that comes in the pinwheel party pumpkin kit. And you're going to take the stamps from the kit and ink them in Night of Navy in real red. And I stamped the Celebrate on the left and the real red stars on the right. And then you're gonna need your stamp and pierce mat and your paper piercing tool. And you're gonna pierce a hole in the center of the little banner right away before you do anything else. Just pierce the hole there. And then you're going to assemble this. Now these came with the little pre-punched pre holes. Perfect. So you're just going to fold these into the center. And you're going to take one of the brads that comes in the kit too. And what I did was I started with one. And I put my little tag. I put the brad through the hole on my little tag. And then I put the bread through the little hole on the pinwheel. And then I worked my way around by putting the hole, keep putting the holes on each one of those little ends for the pinwheels. And then there's a hole in the center, so you're just going to squish that down, squish that down. And put the hole through the center, put the brad through the hole in the center. And then you're going to fold the prongs over on the back right away. And then once you have that done, what you want to do is go back through and kind of straighten this out. Just bend it a little bit. So now you have that fun, cute little pinwheel ready to go on your bag. So now you're going to bring your bag back. You're going to take those pieces of straw and you'll need a couple of glue dots. And the glue dot, you're just going to place it right in the center of your bag on that, on that bag. And then you're going to attach one of these little straw trimmings to that glue dot. Put another glue dot on there. And, and attach the other straw trimming, crisscrossing it so it goes at the opposite way, forming an X. And once you have that, some of this basic gray baker's twine came right in the kit. I just cut another piece about as long as the straw tails. And then I attached that right to the glue dot. And then you're going to want another glue dot. Put that over the top of the baker's twine and attach your red straw. And just put it going across, filling in the hole there between the two little straw trims. 
So, so far, this is what your little treat bag will look like. Then you want to take your little pinwheel and you're going to use a stamping dimensional for this. So just place a stamping dimensional right onto the back of your pinwheel, like that, and then attach that right to your straw. How cute is that so far? What a fun, cute little gift to give somebody. And then, you wanted to finish it, I just stepped it up by taking some rhinestone basic jewels and I added them in here onto the little real red stars. Just placed them right in the center. So just place them going down the center of your stars and just work your way down until you get all of the stars with rhinestones on them. And then once you have all the stars with rhinestones, then take another rhinestone and put it on the other end right above the celebrate. And then once you're done, you'll have this fun, cute little decorated treat bag to give out to your party guests or if you have children, children to celebrate 4th of July. Now you'll want to visit my blog, rubberredneck.typepad.com. I will have all the directions listed in a blog post for this for you to just copy and paste. And if you would like more information about the paper pumpkin kits and how to receive those in the mail, then please visit my blog for all the details. Thank you for watching.